Welcome back, guys. Before we start today's video, I got to give a few shout outs. I just got to because I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. So let's get right into it. First shout out is going to be to Alex Sandoval. Thank you, Alex, for being a big supporter of the channel. Alex sent ten dollars. Next up, we got Black Widow with a ten dollar super chat. She say, "Drop me, DoorDash, dropped me off platinum for only declining four orders, which took my AR down to sixty five percent, and it took twelve orders for me to get back to sixty six. This tier mess is a joke, man. I'm sorry that you're going through these struggles, Black Widow, but thank you for the ten dollar super chat and thank you for sharing your experience with the new DoorDash tier program. Next up, we got a one ninety nine from the Black Wolf." He say, what the Sigma? Shout out to you for that. We got Clown Dash up in the building coming through with a 199. Next one is 149. Super sticker from Diane. Thank you so much, Diane. Greatly appreciate it. Then we got Chicken and Biscuits coming through with the $5 Super Chat saying that it's pizza time. And it's always pizza time because you know we delivering them pizzas. Dark Vader, big channel support. I want to say thank you. Dark Vader came through with a $5 Super Chat. Vader say, should I get a membership? Also, my question was... The star next to my name, meaning you remember. Yes, if you have a badge on next to your name on the channel, that means you are a member of the channel. And that shows everyone, not only the channel owner, but everyone else in the chat that you are a supporter of the channel. So thank you to all the supporters. We will be doing more shout outs like this in future videos, but I wanted to go ahead and touch on a few of these. But we can't leave out the big hitter. Shout out to Chris Lacey for the $20 Super Chat. Chris, big supporter of the channel. We appreciate you. Thank you. We got a couple $2 Super Chats, one from Bobby, one from AUM, one from Rasta Boo. Again, doesn't matter the dollar amount, all are greatly appreciated. Also got one from William Burke up there. Shout out to William Burke. Then Sophia came through with a $5 Super Chat. We got Shell Ray. We got Self Entertained. We got Jersey Man, Dark Vader, $5 Super Chat from Black Widow, another $10 Super Chat from Hector Hustles. Thank you guys so much. I want to show my appreciation for the support that you guys are showing on the channel. And we're going to keep this going. So if you want to show your support for the channel, Super Chatting is a way to do it. Hitting that like button and the subscribe button is the best way to do it. And i see you in this video. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it worth it doing food delivery in 2024? I'm going to be showing you every single offer that comes across my phone today. So get ready because we finna get right into it. I already got my first order. It's $8 for two miles at Jimmy John's. We here already. I'm sitting outside. I just pulled up. But before we go inside here, let's talk about these offers they sent me real quick. This one is $8, two miles. It came through on Uber Eats. But I'm trying to get some DoorDash orders in because I'm trying to put myself in the right position for next month for Top Dasher. This one is $8.06 for two miles. Four to one miles money ratio all day long. I'm taking that. But before that, they sent me this one, $10.61. 10.8 miles, one-to-one, -one, but one-to-one -one ain't good enough no more because you can't really be profitable just taking one-to-one -one miles to money ratio. $8 for 10.8 miles was the first order I got on DoorDash. Even though it's all highway, that's an upside down offer. And if you're a brand new dasher, you wanna make sure you stand away from offers like this. Offers that have more mileage then the payout the payout on this one is eight dollars and they want you to drive 10 miles but you got to also take into consideration that you may not get an offer once you get down there so you may be in a position where you actually have to drive 10 miles back so that's an automatic decline and just like that one this one is also an automatic decline seven dollars and two cents for 25.2 miles and that was actually at the same spot too but this one came through on uber eats 25.2 miles actually becomes a 50 mile round trip now this order is actually worse then all the orders I showed you before, because this one right here, you actually would lose money on this offer. If you took this trip, you're going to put that seven bucks in your gas tank. And then once you get back, you're going to have less gas than what you started with. Unless you're driving like a spaceship or something, you're going to have less gas. Let's see if they got this order ready. Now, who am I picking up for? That's probably what I should figure out first. Let me see. I'm picking up for Diane. Let's see if they got Diane's order ready. How you doing today, boss? Not too bad. Pick it up for Diane. Look at that. Appreciate that. Have a nice day. You too, thank you. See if we got that ready. Let's see. We got a time on here. Time on this one is 4.59. So they just... There you go. No problem, you have a good evening. Next up, we got $10.08 for 21.8 miles at Alfonso's Pizzeria, and we're gonna leave it right there. No thank you, Uber Eats. Just got our next one, $8.25, 7.6 miles. 
that's gonna be a decline for me. Almost accepted. Oh my goodness, fifty-five percent going down to fifty-five percent. I'm cool with it. I can't sacrifice no more acceptance rate points because I got to get my completion rate up. So you know what? It's cool. Ten minutes left on this dash right here, guys, and then I'll have to wait for my next schedule shift. But that's okay though because it looks like it's kind of busy out here today, so I should be. Up. Next up, <laughs> we get this right here. Five dollars fifty. 3.5 miles, two orders. Pizza bag required two customers. This is wild. See, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy that I'm not worried about my acceptance rate anymore. Let's see what this Uber Eats offer is because you know what? Maybe the Uber Eats offer is a little bit better. We got, nope, $10.20 for 11 miles. Both of those offers is not real good. Oh, and we got one on trip radar, nine dollars three miles at Jack in the Box. I try to get that trip radar. Why well, it's matching me up with that? Let's go ahead and properly decline our DoorDash order. And it looks like I'm gonna stay at 50, 50. It's gonna be a struggle when I'm trying to get my way back up. Hopefully, we get matched with this order on Jack in the Box, and we can rock out with that because my DoorDash shift in the end a little bit that'll keep me busy, keep me profitable right here. But see, with trip radar, you never know if you're gonna get matched up. See, it's matching matching look now they got another papa john's order now that is a papa john uh, see that's it's two offers if that was one offer that would be an automatic yeah it's two offers i'm still gonna take it but that ain't real great that ain't real great we're gonna take that we still got 60 seconds to accept that okay so we got the jack-in-the-box offer and you know what we're gonna go ahead and take this one too so now we multi app and i'm gonna head over and check in jack in the box and papa john's are both right next to each other so that's a plus since they both right next to each other i'll be able to check in to both of them and if i had to guess jack in the box is gonna have the order ready first jack in the box is drive through pickup papa john's is also drive through pickup but what i find is whenever i get a stack whenever i have two offers at either Papa John's or Pizza Hut or any of the pizza spots, they typically have one order ready and the other one you gotta wait for. Now I got a three mile drive on both of these, but I don't know which direction I'm going with on the Jack in the Box order. So my best bet is to try to get the Jack in the Box order done first and then get both pieces and get it delivered. I hope it work out like that, but we gonna see. You see, I got a, I got a stack though, so we making money. All right, so Turn of events, we got the Jack in the Box picked up and now I'm in the Papa John's drive-thru. I was like, look, the Papa John's order, if they got both of these ready, we're gonna be in good shape. So, you know, I got the Jack in the Box. We're gonna see if we can get all three of these delivered at the same time. We got the first one dropped off, guys, and that customer came out and handed us two bucks. Shout out to that Papa John's customer. It was an older fellow. He met me right at the door. He was ready, didn't have me waiting. And he left us an additional $2 tip. He said, this is extra. So he probably tipped in the app Maybe our second customer didn't tip in the app. I'm not quite sure. We got both of our pizza orders dropped off. Both customers tipped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both customers tipped, right? $3 tip from one customer, $4.32 tip or $23 from the other customer, plus an additional $2 in cash. But DoorDash only gives you $2 in base pay. This is how DoorDash keeps a little bit of that profit in their pocket. If they would have paid a separate base pay for both orders, the dasher would have had an additional two bucks on top of what the customer generously tipped. So that would have been $13, but it actually only ended up being $9. But it's okay though, we got it done. And the best part is our Jack in the Box order is actually heading in the same direction so we didn't have to dirty stack, dirty multi-app these three orders. And by completing them all together, we got four orders done in the first hour. Well, after we drop this Jack in the Box off, it'll be four orders in the first hour. $8 on that Jimmy John's order. $9 on this one, that makes 17, plus the 11 that we made, so that's gonna be like 28, 29 bucks for the first hour. Oh, and this is actually one of my great customers. I'm pulling up Ricely Live right here off of the main road, so this is great. But it's kind of dangerous, so you gotta make sure there's no cars behind you when you're pulling in. But um, this is a great customer right here. We finna go ahead and get them taken care of and see what comes in next. 28 bucks for the first hour eight dollars and fifty cents for 10.7 miles it is some highway on this one but that's a 20 mile that's a 21 mile round trip for eight dollars there's a possibility that you can get a stack but i'm not going to be taking that and i'm glad that i'm not accepting every single offer or worry about acceptance rate because i want to do orders that i can complete my goal is to get my completion rate up and that's, now that's looking a whole lot better we got five dollars three miles high paying offer 
It's not really high paying, but if I subtract this little distance right here from where I'm at to McDonald's, if I subtract that, then this actually becomes $5 for two miles. And at least it keeps me within my zone. I mean, look, if I did this order five times in a row, I'd make 25 bucks and I would drive 15 miles, give or take, but I stay within my zone prime for my next order. If I do that other order five times in a row, you know, I'll have 30, I'll have 40 bucks and I, and I will have driven probably 80 miles round trip. Absolutely crazy. I'm trying to get my completion rating up. If I can stay above 50% and hold that for the entire month, that's great. But if not, I'm okay. I will go through a stretch sometime next month where I accept every single offer. I probably will. And I'm gonna get my ratings up, especially in preparation for the Dasher Rewards program. But for right now, the goal is to just get that completion rate up because it's gonna be harder to get that up than my acceptance rate as far as when I'm, <laughs> it's gonna be harder to get my completion rate up if my acceptance rate ain't already at a spot where it need to be. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So right now I'm at where it need to be. I just need to get my completion rate up and then I can focus on taking every single order within reason. But right now let's head on over to Taco Bell. As you can see, look, if I hit directions, it says that I'm a mile away. That's why I said if I subtract the mileage from where I'm at to McDonald's, from the overall order, it's really five bucks, two miles and keep me within my zone. Let's go ahead and get this one. See if they got this order ready. Thank you guys. Yep, that's it. GDC. Got the McDonald's having that order ready. Whatever that was behind that bush just scared me for real. Yes, I feel very safe, DoorDash. Extremely safe. $3 tip, let's go. What will be our next orders? But it definitely looked like it got a little bit busier out here. Ooh. That looked like a good order. We just got our next order right away. 10, 4.6 miles, but look, that mileage. It's just me getting up out of here. That's not even bad. Both of them is at Panera. Let's take that. I like that. Both pickups at the same spot, so you know, it don't really get no better than that. We heading over to Panera right now. One of them said Panera and one of them said Panera Corporate. So that leads me to believe that one of these orders was placed on the DoorDash site and one was placed on the merchant site. Now, the order that was placed on the merchant site more than likely is gonna default and automatically be a hand to me order. So just with that in mind, I'm gonna be prepared for that. And it ain't gonna be no issue. You know, the order meets my parameters. We only gotta go to one spot to pick up both orders. And since we got, what, a five minute drive until we make it over there, hopefully both of them be ready when we get there. Picking up two orders, one for Gavin and one for Adcock. That's hella funny. Let's see what they got. Looks like they got one ready. So we're gonna have one order ready. These people are weird. That ain't it. And it's not over there. They have nothing ready. Well, they had one of them ready, which is okay. Hopefully it's not too much longer on the second order. We're gonna get this one put up since they do got a drink. The second one was just one of those pick two combos. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna wait for it. All right, let's get this first one dropped off. This is the one with the drink. You know what, might as well sit it on the table. All right, let's retake that picture. Boom, there we go. Got the first one dropped off. Yes, I feel very safe with DoorDash. They always ask you in the wrong place. All right, now let's head to this second drop off. sit it right here that's even better all right both orders have been dropped off each is sending me orders hopefully they sent me something good let's go ahead and get this confirmed complete delivery my shift is going to end in like five minutes but that was a good little stack right there three dollar tip on both orders looks like uber eats sending me my next one let's see maybe no the order's gone maybe it was a ride share offer i'm not right ten dollars in total pay i would take that if they want to send me one more and if you hit my parameters, we'll do it. Time is now seven o'clock and my dash has officially ended. We didn't do bad though. We did $15 on one and then $9.73 on the other one. We'll just round it up to 10 bucks. So we did 25 bucks on DoorDash. And then on Uber Eats, we did our $8 order. At Jimmy John's, we did our $9 order on trip radar and i think that was it eight dollar order and a nine dollar order yep that was it so we did 25 on doordash and 17 on uber eats but we did it in two hours though so that's not bad it definitely could have been worse i've had other shifts where i have not done as great 
And I think that's a good, you know, little test shift for us to see if it's okay for this little evening time. Is it still worth doing deliveries to make money? Can you hit your goals? And I think the answer for, for this week, this shift for today is yes. So what's that? 25 bucks right there plus another 17. That's not quite 45, but it's what? 42. We did 42 bucks in two hours. And on our DoorDash orders, we did 3.8 miles on the Papa John stack and 4.6 miles on the Panera stack. So I think I said 3.8. 3.8, almost four miles on that one. Then another four miles that give us eight miles plus 0.6. So we we did about 8.2 miles right there on DoorDash. I'm probably calculating that a little bit wrong. And then we did a three mile order on Jack in the Box, but we multi-apped that and everything was going in the same direction. So those three miles are already accounted for. And then what was the Uber Eats order? Let's have a look at that real quick. Oh, we did probably like a total of 10 miles to make that 40 bucks. And we stayed all within zone on that. So I'm happy with it. Look, if you enjoyed this video, and you think food delivery is still worth it, hit that like button and the subscribe button. And if you don't think it's worth it, still hit those buttons and watch this next video. And I'll see you in the next one.